Mr. Central State University. Good morning, you all. My name is Tia Skipper. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I am Miss Central State. We got Chicago here? No? Oh, you just wave your hand. That's fine. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Miss Central State University. My major is music performance, so I want to let my king take the first part away. Ready? All right, listen, I remember, well, I, like I said, I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and I went to uh, Meadowdale High School. Right, I knew y'all was going to do that, I knew y'all was going to do that, I was already prepared. But I remember when I was sitting in these seats, uh, we had, at the time, it wasn't even, the new school wasn't even built, it was the, um, the older school. And I remember when we would, you know, we would get these, uh, we would, they would call it assemblies, we had these assemblies and everything. And it would just be this thing like, like, what are they about to say? I really don't want to hear what they're going to say. I'd rather be in class, sleep or doing whatever I'm doing, flirting with the ladies or whatever it is I want to do. That's just what I want to do. So I was thinking, like, if Brendan, if I were to give these people an opportunity and just listen to what they had to say, what, what could it have done? Could it have prevented me from making mistakes that eventually cost me later on in life? What exactly would I, would I give them the opportunity to do if I were to just listen? And here we're here, and we're here to talk about your, um, one of your core values, and it is responsibility. I have a quote from Les Brown. He said, if you take responsibility for yourself, you will develop a hunger for your dreams. He said, if you take responsibility for yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to develop a hunger for your own dreams. And with dreams, it comes reality, and then dreams, you have a fantasy. It's the difference between fantasy and reality. One you can invent and create, and the other you live in, and you don't always control those circumstances. However, it is your responsibility to set yourself up and put yourself in the best position you could ever do to accomplish what? Your dreams. Anybody in here got dreams? All right, and then, is there anybody in here who got big dreams, just stuff that you don't think the average person is thinking about? So anybody in here like, I want to be the next president, I want to I wanna be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Anybody got that? All right, Tim. Go, Hardy, go, Hardy, go there. Go, Hardy, go, Hardy, go. Go, Hardy. strain on my brain but the pain's there, sure. I've been defeated by old memories, lost in what I used to be. Tossed in a ball and popped this horror hot by the wildebeest, but it's used to killing me, cause the only thing inside is pain. And they threaten to take my sunshine, you can have it, it ain't mine, cause all I own is rain. Days come and nights go, stars only sit, but they get to glow, the clouds grow thick so I know it come to storm. Well warning, warning, disaster coming my way, bring it on, God will live with a straight on, cause I can't. Be great, don't let nobody fake try to remake you. Cause they gon' try to form you to them when God already shaped you. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. See, he was careful with the design of my frame. The world's a game played by the evil people in it. And to me, the ones who's dying are the only ones who's winning. Cause when you get close to the end and the rules change, you will lose a lot for a little game. Step on your brother and sister just to get ahead. You just have a friend in the back just to stack your bread. Dead, the world's a ugly place. <laughs> Just fade into dust, cause nowadays the only thing irreplaceable is trust. I promise it's easy to bring a man back from the dead than it is to trust another man again. And they wanna know how it all started. It's the cold souls that birthed the cold hearted. Cold hearted, cold hearted, colder. Cold hearted, cold hearted, colder. Cold hearted, cold hearted. See, I got so sick of society to the point where I decided to give me a society. I said I got so sick of society to the point where I decided to give me and society some distance. You tell me to be who I am with the same breath of telling me to be like them. And man, it's hard being different when you don't know you're the difference. Do you know because of insecurities, the unsure of me began to rise? It was days I was so depressed, my head was so deep in the dirt, sometimes I felt the pavement was the sky, but no one even cared. Not even enough to share the love of God with me. All these times I was depressed and alone, these were the only things that was loyal to me, and I'm supposed to let it all go. What? Ask them what they did, I bet they all know. But see, it was only the devil trying to sip me for my desires, hopes, and dreams. But devil, you a liar throwing up smoke and screams. My fire will be lighted, and my life will be vibrant. See, I'm addicted to fixing what's broke, so I ain't gonna let no yoke weigh me down. I'm gonna pray without ceasing for a God-given 
joy that's leaking. What it's done for me is no secret. If I had time to tell you, you'd be speechless. You can't, you can call me a label and say I'm tweaking, but you won't say she's down. Because the Lord give it and he take it away. The devil only comes to imitate. He can't be real. He never great like my God. He's fake. I started that piece to, to let you know this. My platform is called Being. Period. It does, I can tell you all day, hands down, what you need to do in school. I can tell you what you need to do in class, but that means nothing if you're still faking or ashamed to be yourself. I went to Proviso West. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And I trashed my high school year. I trashed it. By my, um, by my second semester of my freshman year, I was already on probation, fighting. By my junior year, I had to go to night school and some too, just to graduate one time. That's crazy, right? Don't look like what I've been through. Even if you would have saw me then, you were swerving down, I was a boy. Now, people will look at me now and be like, who she thinks she is? I'm great, bitch, you just hit my phone. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I'm saying that, now, now, I'm not saying that to be conceited, I'm saying that to say I know who I am. The point we're here is not to show just because y'all have a complication, it's to get a point through. A lot of you all are geniuses. And it may not be necessarily book smart, but you're a genius as far as having ideas. You have to understand how you learn. I didn't know anything. By the time I graduated, I had capitalized on how to get by. And that was it. I graduated with a baby like a 1.7. What is that? What is that? Right, that's crazy. Now I'm in Central State, and I had to have a 3.0 just to be in Central State. I didn't make a grade till I, got to, till I got to college. You all have to take this time seriously. And, and no one is going to take your life seriously if you don't. I understand kicking it. I understand having fun. But your education has to come first. Education always sounds corny. What does education mean? How many people, uh, give me your favorite rapper. Future Lil Wayne. Big Mills. Big Mills. Okay, Big Mills. I'm going to go with Mills. I'm going to go with Mills. Where's he from? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where's Big Mills from? Where's Big Mills from? Big Mills from where? Big Mills from Somebody said something and it made me feel stupid. It's called Do You by Russell Simmons. 
and he talks about the importance of education, but how it's not just important to be educated, it's important to use your gifts as well. However, if you do not practice the art of finding out, which is education, you won't practice that art on finding out who you are. So again, do you, but figure out how to do it. Get good grades here so when you go to college, they can pay for that. I had to come totally out of pocket. And someone had to tell me that, had you better grades, you could have got more money. Now everybody's swerving down there a hustler, but then you need to use the educational system to hustle in. That's what hustling is, to be honest. Thousands of dollars given to you that you ain't even got to work for. If you want to talk about hustling, there ain't no threat for you to go to jail and get in trouble. That's free money. And that's from the government. Chris? Your own Thurgood Marshall said, History takes matters in its own hands. This is a quote from Thurgood Marshall. He said, history takes matters in its own hands. But in order to make history, you need a history maker. So who exactly would these history makers be? These history makers consist of the very people that sit in these seats in front and behind me. These history makers are the people like myself and Tia who are both first generation college students. Now she told her, her story. Me, I hated school with a passion. I, I went to Meadowdale, but I, I figured out how I could cheat the system, so I switched over to a school and I graduated from there. It was Chappie James. I, it was, this was their first year uh, producing students, so in my mind I said, you know what, they need me to be there, because if they don't have a certain um, graduation amount, then they're not really going to function as a school. So I went to that school, stayed there day and night trying to get work done, went through computers and just click, 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 until I got the right answer. Then when I went to college, guess what I did? I dropped out. Oh my goodness, I dropped out, I hated school, I dropped out because I couldn't stand it. And finally it was a moment when I was sitting with my grandmother and she said, every one of my kids who went to college dropped out, grandchildren included. She said, and I just, I wish one of them, I just wish one of y'all would've got y'all a degree. And at that moment, almost with tears in my eyes, I said, I promise you, Granny, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get my degree. On 3rd in Euclid, it was June 1st, 2004, I was shot in my stomach just walking down the street. So I learned not to take life for granted. This, this is third in Euclid, this is in our neighborhood. These are the same streets that y'all walk, the same bus that y'all go by. Now if y'all get on the bus, you might see my face on it. Yeah. This is literally, listen y'all, this is like she said, we are not here because they called us to be here. And they said, we just want you to come and speak. Because honestly, in the beginning, y'all wasn't listening anyway. So we could say anything we want to, and then we would still get the same accolades. The photographer and the videographer right here, Brandon Davis, he would have taken the pictures, put it on the website, and they could care less if we caused the impact because we look good. We represented our university. We did what they asked us to. What matter does it mean? What, what does it mean to come here to speak to you all and then nothing happens? In the beginning, I said, if you give us a chance, we'll do two things. We'll bore you, or we could possibly change your life. And I hope you are listening to the words that came out of our mouth. We're simply saying you can do it. We're simply saying you can be that person that goes to school, goes to college. You don't have to have a low GPA because you're sophomores right now. You can grind hard, you can do all of that stuff, and then you can go to college, you can graduate uh, valedictorian, go to college, have be, be on a dean's list and everything. All these things are possible. I did not get, like she said, I did not get good grades until I came to college. And I didn't get it on the first try. Now I have an associate's degree, I'm soon to have my bachelor's, and I'm looking into my master's. Three degrees before I turn 30. <laughs> Listen y'all, we saying this because we have a genuine love and a heart for people, okay? We only got two more minutes, so I'm gonna tell y'all this. We love y'all, we have information and we brought gifts for y'all for everyone who's gonna get an award, and I think we have some extras as well. We'll give them a book bag and a pamphlet. We have our business cards if y'all wanna meet us or whatnot. Um, I'm Christopher Aaron, Mr. Central State University 2012. Yeah. Um, if you all have any questions or you want to contact us, get any information, even if you want to come up to Central State, of course, Spring Fest is coming up. We have a lot of things going on. Please get our information to find out when you can come up there. We want you all to come so that when you do graduate, you can see what a great institution we have at Central State and that you all could become a part. Also, so you can see people who look like you who are doing their business. Everybody who got good grades ain't walking around with high waist pants and pop bottle glasses, not period. We fly kids getting good grades because we understand the system. 
So please get our cards, get our information if you can. We're here for you all. If anybody is interested um, as far as entertainment, you're a singer, you're a rapper, please come see me. Please, please, please come see me. I know we're closing out, but I definitely want to introduce um, my Mr. Bronze and my Miss Junior. If you all would just come up, say your name, say something really quick, because we don't want to overdo time. <clears throat> you look good. She look blessed. Good morning, third grade Marshall High School. Uh, my name is Jasmine Garner. I am also a native of Dayton, Ohio. I attend Central State University and I am Ms. Junior, majoring in Education Integrated Language Arts. Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Valentine from the best city in America, Detroit, Michigan. I attend Central State University. I am Mr. Bronze, which basically means Mr. Freshman. Uh, I was in you guys' seats a couple of years ago. Um, uh, major in broadcast media, just like Chris, and uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you all. Let's give them another hand. <laughs> Mr. Hunter.